Hey everyone, we're back. My name is Muscala the Tinager and I am playing some Xenosog episode 3. More cutscenes! Oh good, you ate it. Did you like it? Obviously didn't eat it because there's still stuff in that bowl. As it looks like it. You look like you'll be well enough to go outside soon. That kid's not here today? Shion! Shion? She went to pick flowers. Aww. Oh. You mind if I ask you something? I'll do my best to answer. Why did you save me? Because she can! I'm your enemy. I guess you are, but that has nothing to do with me. I just wanted to save you. I didn't care about anything else. Aww. Too bad you're gonna die bloody soon, Fabronia. It doesn't make sense. It's not a spoiler! That gets talked about in the first game. <laughs> came to this planet to dispose of you realians. You could be executed for saving me. All that mattered to me was saving you. Also, the Fabroni is kind of important to the project that they're running, so... Yeah, she's not gonna get executed. <laughs> I don't understand that at all. Is it really that strange to want to save someone's life? I've been ordered to kill realians. To a soldier, orders are absolute. Doesn't mean they're right. <laughs> There's nothing more important than life. Isn't that true for both soldiers and realians? I want you to live. And because of it, we are here, together. Aw, oh, isn't that sweet? He's also got the flowers next to him, too. Some sleep? You need to regain your strength. Don't tell me what to do. God damn it, Virgil. <laughs> okay. Vermonia is just like, I. <laughs> the food was delicious. Vermonia has the patience of a god. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. You know, they never bring up, like, what organs they replaced in Virgil, I don't think. Like, was this his stomach or his liver? Wow. Shut up, I'm Kevin. Impressed they can grow in a place like this. Shut up, Kevin. Guess they haven't died yet. No, they won't die. I water them every single day and give them fertilizer. Oh, I see. Well, there's no guarantee that they won't die in the future. I don't understand it. Why did you want to plant them here? See, it's shit like this. <laughs> you could have planted them in the flower bed in the rear garden. They had interactions as a kid. Because Shion should have recognized him as an that's adult. That's too far away from Mom's room. This is closer to her room. And that way, Daddy can see them too. <laughs> I can't really see Supervisor Uzuki having any interest in flowers. <sighs> God, Kevin's an asshole. <laughs> Listen. You need to understand how the world works. For humans to live, we have to conquer, and destroy, and eat other organisms. That's the most basic function of an organic being. I'm sorry, Xi'an, but there's no point to what you're doing. <laughs> you're gonna fall in love with her true. soon, Kevin. <laughs> and pretty flowers are in bloom. They make everyone feel happier. Even my daddy. I wouldn't bet on that. Even Feb said so. And that's why I planted them here. Huh. <laughs> I don't get it, but if you say so. <laughs> See, this is just proving the point that I've been railing about in the last two episodes. <laughs> Absolutely should have recognized him. Hey, if you're gonna just sit there, then give me a hand. What are those flowers over there? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why should I have to do that? Do it anyway! <laughs> You aren't doing anything. Stop complaining and help. Go on, do it. Hey, <laughs> do it. Water all over his face. <laughs> Cause you're an asshole, ah, Kevin. That's cold. This is all your fault. <laughs> you're all wet. <laughs> now maybe if you hadn't been an asshole, Kevin. This just isn't my day. How did that well, not? What do you want me to do? Why are the flowers there? Oh, and this one too. How did like that? How did you, you not be more careful? How did you not get rid of all the water? How can I hurt them? They're just flowers. No, here. Give it to me. I'll show you how. As somebody who gardens, she's actually right here. You if you can damage um plants if you just dump the water on them like that. Yeah. Huh? Come here. 
Make sure you water them, okay? What? What? Hey! <laughs> Whatever. She glitched off the side of the screen there because I'm using the wide screen hack. <laughs> as soon as her character model got off screen, it was set to uh, vanish. You wouldn't see that if you're playing it in the normal wow, aspect so ratio. This is Cosmos's basic theory. Mm, these are some excellent calculations. Well, how about it? Is it possible to fix Cosmos? It's me. You know, you think Shion would have access to Cosmos' basic theory. I mean, maybe they didn't because of um, the fact that they where they were. Like, she wouldn't have any reason to need, to need to have it on her. But you think that would be something that they would keep with them with Cosmos' maintenance stuff. You know? <laughs> what? With this data you brought back and the newly designed body... It is possible to restore her to her original form. Oh shit! Then... But even so, there's still too many parts we don't understand. Even if the repairs are perfect, we don't know if she'll reboot or not. Not until you try it! <laughs> She's completely different from Erde Kaiser, the field in which we specialize. Indeed. This thing doesn't even transform, much less combine. <laughs> okay, that's not entirely true. Cosmos does sort of have some transformation-y type things, like with her tertiary weapon system and her X-Buster and stuff. What the? That's not the problem. Did you say something? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> Poor Alan. <laughs> anyway, we'll do what we can. <laughs> After all, I don't get many chances to play around with this baby. Stop emulating Maeda from Third Birthday, Professor. <laughs> Professor, what did I just say? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's even worse. Chief, are you sure about this? No. <laughs> if we leave it up to them, they may make things even worse. Hey, I heard that, you. When it comes to robotics, I don't make mistakes. Sit back and leave it to me. This is... I, I can't remember if I brought this up in a previous episode or not, but um, how confusing would this have been for people who played Xenosaga 3 and had played Xenosaga 1 and 2, but never really delved into the side con... like, con stuff, the side quests and side content? Because, again, this is the first game where the professor and um, Assistant Scott are actually voiced characters that are part of the main story. They are entirely side content in 1 or 2, and they don't have voices in 1 and 2. <laughs> now, all you people here are in the way. And all the characters treat them like, you know, people that they've known, and that they've known them for a while, and you know, they're just part of the Elsa crew, but they literally come out of nowhere if you didn't get into the side content of 1 and 2. So I wonder how many people were confused when this game first came out. Get out! Shoo! Like, where'd these two come from? <laughs> Why don't you try out the latest game in the lounge? We modified it a little, so I think you'll enjoy it. If it's the one that I'm- if it's the game that I'm thinking of, then I spent way too much time playing that game in high school. <laughs> really? Well, I guess it might be nice to relax a little. Let's check it out, Xion. Sounds good. I'll go with you, too. Wait. You stay here, assistant number two. Poor Alan. <laughs> huh? What did you expect? You're my temporary assistant. Don't tell me you're already planning on taking a break. I love how the professor just decided that without asking him. <laughs> right then. Let's get to it, Alan. Though it does make sense for them to have either Shion or Alan there, because sure, the professor and Scott are going to be doing most of the repairs on Cosmos, but... You're gonna need somebody there who was part of the creation of Cosmos. Right? <laughs> so you would need either Alan or Shion there to help you with some of it. Um, because if I recall... If I recall, I think Alan was part of the development team of Cosmos all the way back to the original archetype. Which is the one that killed um, Kevin. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm remembering that he talks about being there, and he talks about having known Kevin. Um, which would mean that he would have had to have been part of the team. 
and no before somebody says, but Shion was the sole survivor. She wasn't. She, she wasn't. She was not the sole survivor of the archetype attack. Like, it's canonical that she was not the sole survivor of the archetype attack. The archetype killed a lot of people, but she did not kill everyone. <laughs> uh, in fact, the only, like, important person who died in that attack was Kevin. And in fact, we do know canonically at least two people and three, because I'm pretty sure Alan and maybe Togashi and a couple of the other ones were originally part of the Cosmos development team. Um, but I'm pretty sure Alan was either there or on the development team. He might not have been in the room when Cosmos went nuts. Now I'm just going off on a tangent. I really like the lore of this game. <laughs> I know way too much about it. What am I doing? Right, we're going to a game. Um... But the other person that we canonically know and saw them in the flashbacks was um, Cherenkov from the first game. Because in some of the flashbacks of Cosmos, you see him. Um, you see him in the archetype. He, I, in fact, I think he was the Utic soldier who actually activated the archetype and caused it to go nuts. In the word of Hakox. Yeah, this is... Okay, yeah, this... This fucking, this fucking puzzle. This fucking puzzle game, man. I sat here for hours. Hours and hours and hours and hours and hours just playing this freaking side game. It was extremely addicting. Do, do, do. <laughs> yeah, you can make them make noises. Press the start button. Character select. Is there a need for me to do Wait. This? There we go. Yeah, and you can control which characters are which ones. This? Yeah, this is a weird... It's like Lemmings. It's... <laughs> it's like Lemmings, if that makes sense. Uh, oh, left and right. Yeah, you can change which character's which. Do this. Poor Alan. Uh, I always make Cosmos the blue one. Leaf green. I love how it's potato purple. I guess I'm gonna try too. Um, who else is here? You can put Matthews, Tony, Hammer, the Professor, Scott, and Miyuki. We'll have Miyuki, and we'll have Chaos. No, we'll have Junior because it's funny to listen to him screaming. <laughs> Don't judge me. Bonk, bonk, bonk. There we go. No, no. Actually. Yeah, this is fine. <laughs> Beginner, very easy. Basic rules. I'm just going to play like one or two levels of this to show you guys. And I think this is the way that you get quite a few of the characters optional, like, ultimate weapons or stuff like that, is through this minigame. And it's weird! <laughs> First, let's start with the basics. Here's the starting point, before a character appears. Yep, little indicator appears. And the same color as the character. And they start walking forward automatically. A few minutes the character will appear. Yeah. If the characters appear, they're walking forward automatically. When they get to the end, they win. Yeah, it, it's 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 a it's a cute fun little game. It's a cute fun little game. I explain the basics. Yeah, you can also make them run. But I can't remember the run button is. Walk forward, following along the path. Okay. And the path turns, they will turn to follow the path. Hi. Game. <laughs> At T intersections, they always turn right. That is actually something important to remember in this. Uh, and then you make your turns with dead ends. Though if there is a slope, if I remember correctly, if there's a slope, they'll fall off the edge. It's annoying waiting for them, so you can press L1 or L2 to make them go faster. Oh. 
Even at branches, they will, um, even at branches, they won't change their path. They'll always go straight. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna show you all of this. Yeah. Exit to title. Return to the Hawkeye style stream. Return to main game. <laughs> See you again! Uh, yeah, this, this little puzzle game is surprisingly addicting. I, I kind of wish they had it as a standalone game. Um, but yeah, it's surprisingly addicting. Those two did a good job for a change. Mm-hmm. How do you feel? Do you feel relaxed? No. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I guess I've been worrying everyone. Yeah, because you're an asshole who does things without thinking on your own, not even giving a shit about how it makes everybody else feel. Don't worry about it. We're friends, right? When stuff happens, don't hesitate to tell us. Thanks. I'm gonna go rest a bit in my room. If anything happens, give me a call. Passes out. Sure thing. <laughs> What's up, bruh? Professor, I finished attaching the exterior. Okay, we're going to try rebooting her. Assistant number two! <laughs> Assistant number yeah, two! Yeah. Come on, Cosmos. It's time to wake up. Or is it? <laughs> nope. Poor Cosmos. <laughs> strange with the data she brought back the core repair should be flawless so you'd think given who he is and what he's seen alan would call immediately what's wrong here because alan was in the room when cosmos first booted herself booted herself and what had to happen for cosmos to boot herself Shion had to be in trouble where could the problem be Professor, it's gotta be that. Oh yeah, <laughs> that. Love and courage. Yeah, love and courage. <clears throat> God damn it. No, I'm pretty sure the, the problem, problem lies, lies with, with you two. No, it lies with the fact that Alan is not realizing, oh, wait a minute, what happened last time she booted on her own? Hey, assistant number two. You, yes? So the professor is actually sort of correct, kind of. <laughs> what are you standing around for? Hurry up and bring your lady friend. I want to hear the opinion of a specialist. Alan's a specialist. Hey, I'm a <laughs> yeah, specialist I was gonna in the say. same field. Do you expect me to rely on your opinions? Hurry up and call her. The hell is that animation even? <laughs> fine, fine. That was totally a Kevin face. <laughs> Professor, the reactor output is unstable. Maybe we needed those parts you had left over. Hmm. Don't worry about little things like that. It's probably just a gauge malfunctioning. Just hit it. <laughs> Poor Cosmos having these two rifling around in her. Uh-oh. It's a Virgil. I mean, not Virgil. Virgil's the blue one. I know who it is. <laughs> but once we get to that part of the story that deals with the Black Testament, um, I have a lot of things I want to bring up. I know. What is going to happen already? The coming events will bring suffering to countless lives, and it will leave a permanent scar on the universe. Yep. But I alone. Oh, look at that anti-aliasing. May have a chance <laughs> to change everything. That's not how this works. Cosmos. Is that 40 degrees Celsius? What would you do? Would you chastise me for being illogical? Just like you always do? Cosmos. Would you abandon countless lives before you? Her bath water or her shower Something water is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> to do? Yes, I just looked it up. <gasps> I knew it was a. I know that you can get a ballpark estimate by um, multiplying by like. Yes. 
three point five or three and a quarter. It's there is a whole equation for um, converting from Celsius to Fahrenheit. And I used to know what it was offhand, but I know like the quick version to sort of ballpark estimate it is about times it by about three ish, a little bit more than three. It's me, Alan. Sorry. Have you got a minute? She nakey. Sure. What is it? God damn it, Sheon. <laughs> Thanks. Whoa. What Poor Alan. It? Hurry up. I'm gonna catch cold. Poor Alan. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, um. <laughs> she on you're an asshole. <laughs> Who does that when you're naked? The, the professor. I mean, she knows that, you know, it's only showing from here up, but What about still. the professor? Uh, re rebooting Cosmos isn't working. And he says he wants your opinion. I see. Okay, I'll be right. Oh, shit! What? Chief! Chief, are you all right? Chief! Bam! <laughs> Where's the explosion? Wait a minute, I never noticed that before. Um, I, this might be something from the widescreen hack, but I never noticed before. When she shoves Al in there, she has the little gloves from her bathing suit on. So I wonder if they had the character model wearing the bathing suit right there just in case something glitched out so, you know, nobody would see any nakey. In Cosmos' <laughs> maintenance room. Or maybe it was, or maybe they just had her for that cutscene. <laughs> In the bathing suit, since I don't think it has like a shoulder part. Wait up, Chief! Poor Alan. Ah! Well, God time for some more badassness. An old man, for heaven's sake! Poor Professor. I tell you, young people these days have no manners. Uh, Professor, violent criminals don't care about manners. <laughs> they got Cosmos. What's up, bruh? I actually cannot remember his name. Hey, hey, hey! Who the hell did this to our Elsa? <laughs> I love how Junior only pulls out one pistol, but Tony's like two. <laughs> you think that would be the other way around? <laughs> also, who the, you don't shoot like that. That's a bad idea. Virgil, what is his name? The security system is just fine. A fly couldn't get into this place. This is gonna bug me. I used to know it. This guy is a monster! Tony, hold back! Well, Ziggy's gonna know exactly who that is. Out of the way. But, old man! Don't worry. I'm perfectly calm right no, now. No, you're not. And I know why he's not. Voyager. Voyager! That was the name! I knew it started with why a V. Are you here? <laughs> what is your objective? I knew it started with a V. <laughs> Get him, Ziggy! With Cosmos. Cosmos! Uh, no! Shion! How did she jump that high? Does she have like springs in her feet? Or in like her shoes or something? Yeah, Voyager should know why this is a bad idea. Like, he should know why. But you guys are gonna get to see my dream cosplay in a second here. <laughs> You think you think Voyager would know why this is a bad idea? The the Hilbert effect. And again, what wakes up Cosmos? She on being in trouble. Oh, I love this costume so much. I want to cosplay it so bad. Get him! <laughs> I do kind of wish this was in-game rendered. <laughs> it's like... It's up in the air what, uh, which ones of these scenes are in-game rendered and which ones are going to be not in-game rendered. Though I do know that there is... Um... Okay. There's a bathing suit mode to the cutscene viewer. This game has a cutscene viewer. Um, that you can access from the title screen. And I know that there's a bathing suit mode for it. So part of me wonders... If it's in game rendered or if it's pre rendered in the cutscene viewer or not, because of the fact that you can change the costumes in the cutscenes. She's way more powerful than she was before. 
or if they just rendered the cutscene multiple times. God, I want this outfit. I will need your assistance in defeating the enemy unit. Right. I understand. Come on, Cosmos. Acknowledged. God, I want that outfit. Maximum attack force. I want that outfit so bad. It's my favorite one of all of her outfits. Of all of the designs, the this one is my favorite. Because, oh my god, it looks so good! <laughs> Just look at it! It's so pretty! Okay. Fuck you, Voyager. He's targeting characters with low health, and the one with the lowest health is Shion. Okay. Oh shit. Um... I actually need... You to go away. I need Momo. <laughs> uh, mostly because of that. Okay, weak to fire... I can't remember. I think X means no damage, and... So immune to, and then triangle is strong to, I think. So we want to hit him with fire damage. Okay, we got access to small uh, fire attack, effectiveness on G type enemy, effectiveness on M type enemy. Uh, no. Let's use the cannon. Get him! Bam! Right, I haven't used Ziggy before. Choke. <laughs> you know what? No, we'll, t we'll bring out. Uh, Chaos for the usage of break abilities. <laughs> Rude! <laughs> Don't you laugh at me! Oh shit. <laughs> break damage now and effective. God damn it, that's what I was doing with chaos! Uh, tits. Oh well. Yeah. Well, at least I can use chaos to heal. Yeah, I was trying to break him with chaos. It's not gonna work anymore. <laughs> God damn it. Voyager, you asshole. Uh oh. What's that? Oh dear. It's fine. It's fine though. I know what I'm doing. Occasionally. <laughs> Sometimes. I said don't laugh at me! Oh crap. He's targeting characters with low health. Oh, you mean like chaos? God damn it. Let's see here. I'm on fire and I'll switch chaos out for Junior. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a good plan. Junior, come here. I do wish that it didn't take away the turn to switch characters out because it does take away a little bit of the incentive of switching characters, but whatever. me, Voyager. He's mean. Physical attacks are now fi- God damn- Wait, what defines this physical attacks? Is this considered a physical attack? No. Okay, good. <laughs> His name is like, um... Okay, but that is considered a physical attack. Huh. Aight. Why is the- f Oh, is it because it's labeled as a fire attack, probably? That'd do it. I don't want to risk Cosmos dying here, so. <laughs> I could attack, but I'll heal instead. What you doing? Rude. <laughs> That's very rude of you. You know what? Nah. <laughs> I can revive her if she dies. She ain't dead. Somehow. Well, now she is. Definitely. She she had break on her. I might as well have. Okay. Because I can use my revert here. I only had the one, so that was very tricky. I didn't realize I only have one of them. <laughs> so that could have been really bad. 
Okay, what else do I got? Take this. Yeah, I'm gonna use one of my boosts because I need you to cast this. <laughs> Usually I don't use my boost if I can help it for that, but... No. <laughs> Momo has ether points up the ass. I'm gonna use just keep her to keep everybody's health up. Just because I know that I... Yeah. Take this! A good idea for me to use that on her so I can just use the cannon to victory. <laughs> Potentially kill him? Drive. There we go. <laughs> I wasn't sure or not. <laughs> Don't you giggle at me. What is this guy with giggling? That's, that's his only line. It's his own line in this game. Just giggling. You can only giggle. That's it. Just giggle. Nothing else. Only giggle. <laughs> Voyager, how much longer do you intend to keep doing this? Methinks you know him, Ziggy. <laughs> do you really think this will satisfy your never-ending thirst for power? They never completely explain the whole thing between Voyager, Voyager and Ziggy. I know what it is, but we'll talk about that later. Now do you think... That you really won this? Oh shit. <laughs> this is checking. Come on, no one-liners, Cosmos. Stab then one-liner. I just blow a hole in the side of the ship. <laughs> God, how are they even gonna patch that up to make it space worthy? You're taking too long. Return. Hmm. I wonder. If she has awakened. Then we must devise our next move. I wonder why the Red Testament has seen fit to modulate his voice there, even though that he hasn't I'm done it any sorry, other time. But it seems your time is up. You'll pay for what you have done. We will settle this later at a more appropriate time. Farewell for now. Goodbye, Jan Sauer. Jan Sauer is <laughs> Ziggy's real name. His birth name. From when he was human. So now that I think about it. Are we safe now? Yes. We're safe for now, Momo. Voyager is the oldest of the testaments. If we had kept on fighting. Cosmos! Thank goodness. I was so worried about you. Xion. It appears that I have caused you undue emotional stress while my functions were suspended. <laughs> you think? I must apologize. <laughs> you should. I was really worried about you. I'm so... And glad. she passes the fuck out. Right. <laughs> Cosmos. Xion. Chief? Xion. <laughs> yep. Xion's <laughs> just passing out all the time now. I need to stop recording. Well, this is sketch. Oh! Shit! Um, this is a reference to the first game, by the way. I can't remember if they bring it up, but this exact beach appears in the first game um, with the whole Cherenkov stuff. Sh when Xiong visits uh, this area. It's, it's in black. Is it's right. in black and white vision, and I think it was supposed to be in black and white vision in this game as well. I can't remember if the screen's supposed to be tinted, but because of some of the settings I have to have in the emulator to get this game working properly, uh, it had to remove the screen filters. Don't you think waves resemble the relationships between people? What? <laughs> they ebb and flow, as if feeling the distance between them and repeat that process eternally. Hmm. I... <laughs> Young lady, do you love your father? What? That's complicated. Parents and children, too, could be said to be like waves. 
Professor Mizrahi, what was your relationship to my father? What good will knowing that do? I don't think knowing that will be of any benefit to you now. <laughs> I... Wow, Joachim. <laughs> Words can completely change their meaning depending on the mind of the listener. Okay, I mean accurate. They can change into good ones or into bad. Some words cannot be conveyed. What one thinks is good will not always lead to good results. You're a scientist too, then you should understand. I still want to know. Without knowing... How do I know where I stand? That man's words are merely shackles. I... <laughs> He is a man possessed by his own narrow-minded ego. I think I remember which character he's talking about here. He brings suffering to all those he comes into contact with. I don't want to see your sad face. Yep, yep, yep. I, I know exactly which character he's referring to here. <laughs> Who are you talking about? I don't know anyone. Yes, you do, Shion. You just are too narrow-minded yourself to see how much of an abusive twat he is. I promised Sakura. I would make a world in which all wills that have yet to be born can live in happiness. I... I want you to live in a world like that too. That is my wish. Professor Mizrahi... Don't do anything you don't want to. Be true to your feelings. That's gotten her into a lot of hard, like, hot water lately, so maybe not entirely do the best that, idea. and she will. Answer your call. I mean, there's being true to your feelings, and then there's being a rude asshole to all of your friends. I <laughs> see it's all like this. I wish the re I wish all of the FMVs were um, in game rendered like these ones are, like this one and the um, the Telos Cosmos um, Omega thing Cosmos. from earlier. The fuck? I feel like this is supposed to look different. <laughs> Um, see, I wish they'd all been in-game rendered. It's like half of them are in-game rendered, half of them aren't in-game rendered. I wish they just Jin. picked a side. Because <laughs> then I see how good these cutscenes look when they're in-game rendered, like that little bit there, or the um, Telos Omega Cosmos um, battle simulator. And then I just wish they all were in-game rendered. <laughs> Because the the FMVs do not upscale very well. <laughs> you fainted from exhaustion. You really should rest more. I mean, that's the nature of anything that's pre um pre rendered. Is anything that's a pre rendered cutscene is never going to upscale well. It's just not. <laughs> or you just refuse to hear advice from a quack. I mean, you are a quack, but you're a lovable quack. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be more careful. Will you though? Will you though, Shion? Jin, I I met Dad. I see. Aren't you going to ask what we talked about? I don't think I need to. I doubt you were able to have much of a conversation with him. Accurate. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to keep yourself composed enough for that. Also accurate. <laughs> You're being mean. <sighs> I mean, but he's not wrong. <laughs> and now they're arguing. Chief? Alan! <laughs> you don't need to freaking listen in on that. The Utic organization had vessels of anima. From what Professor Mizrahi said, they're needed to activate the Zohar. If we can stop their experiment, we can prevent Milsha's space-time anomaly. And if we're able to do that... We might have a chance to save Mother and the others. Also, if we can use the vessels of Anima... But, but you're not entirely sure that you've actually time-traveled. And also, if you change... If you change one of the BIGGEST EVENTS in your guys' in galactic recent history, you're gonna change EVERYTHING AFTER THAT! We might be able to get the energy needed to return to our original world. 
we might also be able to find out what Professor Mizrahi was really trying to do. Or you'll just create a mirror dimension or something. That may indeed be possible, but the risk is too great. But we don't know what's going to happen to us either way. You know, there's a major plot point that's coming up. Keep, keep what Jin is saying here in mind. Like the whole preventing mom and dad dying and saying the risk is too great. There's a very big plot point that's gonna get brought up pretty soon. I never thought about this before, but I wonder how much Jin knows <laughs> and how much he's not letting on. Don't try to stop me. This is a past I don't want. I'm gonna change it. You don't know if you're actually in the past, Yon. Like, you guys literally, it's a point that you guys don't know what's happening. <laughs> Shion, you need your past to be who you are exactly, now. Exactly, that's what I was saying. Damn it, I need to save! Yes, that could work. If we had vessels of anima, we might be able to use that energy to return to our original time. We could come under attack at any time. Just being able to use the ES would benefit us. But the vessels are stored inside Labyrinthos. I don't think they'll let us inside that easily. Also, the vessels of Anima are gigantic. How are you going to move them if you don't have the ESs? <laughs> we have forged IDs. If we use them well, getting inside will be easy. At any rate, our presence here is causing an expanding distortion throughout the entire universe. It could lead to not only us disappearing, but the destruction of the universe itself. <laughs> Except you're not actually time traveling, but whatever, bro. <gasps> gotcha. Get yourselves ready to infiltrate the place. The third descent operation, the Milshin conflict, is going to take place in a few days. We have to hurry. Oh. Poor Momo. <laughs> it's like, Daddy! She wants to go meet her daddy! <laughs> Gonna infiltrate Labyrinthos. Maybe we should make sure, um, check our equipment last, last time before we go. Well, I mean, I love you, Momo. I love you. But I love Cosmos more. <laughs> and this will be what I look like for the rest of the game. Because <laughs> as far as I remember, there is no time. Except for, there is no, there is no time after this. That we have Cosmos not at the party, I think. Outside of maybe like one or two cinematic things, but yay, I have my baby back. But yeah, look at this outfit. Like, I I would kill to cosplay this. Also, one good thing about emulator um emulators that you can't do on any other way of playing this game is you could get some really really good high res freaking images of these costumes for cosplay purposes. Because it renders both the textures and the polygons at higher resolution, so you can see all the little nice little details. But that's just the cosplayer and who's geeking out. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this video, you guys. My name is Miss Scarlet Tanager, and I have been playing some Xenosaga Episode 3. I'll see you all in the next video.